Want to know why Warren Buffett might be making a huge mistake? Think it might be a good idea to do the opposite of Buffett in some cases? Would you like to know which stocks Warren Buffett has been selling? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. Helps us to get the word out and grow the channel. And I'd really appreciate it. Warren Buffett is a personal hero of mine. I've read his biography, The Snowball, twice. That's a book that's nearly 1,000 pages long. As a fellow frugal Midwestern investor, I fashioned many parts of my own life after Buffett's life. However, Buffett is human like the rest of us and he does sometimes make mistakes. Well, he might be making a huge mistake right now. His conglomerate, Berkshire Hathaway, runs a $300 billion common stock portfolio within the company. While Buffett oversees this portfolio, his two investing lieutenants, Todd Combs and Ted Weschler, also manage money. So we're never 100% sure which stocks Buffett is buying and selling, but his firm has been recently selling a group of stocks that I consider more buyable than sellable. Today, I wanna to tell you about a group of stocks Berkshire Hathaway sold over the second quarter of this year. Ready? Let's dig in. While Berkshire Hathaway sold a number of stocks during the second quarter of this year, Buffett & Co were mostly busy selling a particular group of stocks that I think is noteworthy in terms of its concentration within one area of the market. I'm talking about Big Pharma. Yup, Berkshire Hathaway has been furiously unloading many of their pharmaceutical holdings. They sold large chunks of four Big Pharma stocks even selling completely out of one of their positions. Berkshire Hathaway sold approximately 2.3 million shares of AbV Inc, stock ticker ABBV, 643,000 shares of Biogen Inc, stock ticker BIIB, 4.7 million shares of Bristol Myers Squibb Co, stock ticker BMY, and 8.7 million shares of Merck Co Inc, stock ticker MRK. The Biogen position was completely sold out of. Buffett's got no love for big pharma? Hard to say, we don't know if it was Buffett, Combs, or Weschler doing the selling, but it doesn't really matter. Combs and Weschler have been both handpicked by Buffett to help him manage the sizable common stock portfolio within Berkshire Hathaway. They act as his proxy more or less. So if they're making a move, it's not hard to draw a line straight back to Buffett. And when they buy or sell stocks, that impacts Buffett as he's still a major shareholder of Berkshire Hathaway and we'll see his exposure within the portfolio change after a move is made. The stock sales are kind of strange and unusual for Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway initiated positions in AbbVie, Bristol-Myers Squibb, and Merck in the third quarter of 2020. And then someone at the company decided to reverse course, which saw Berkshire Hathaway start to sell off these positions in the first quarter of this year, which they obviously followed up on with more sales in the second quarter. Buffett's long-term mentality, patience, and adherence to a buy and hold strategy are almost legendary at this point. So seeing Berkshire Hathaway start to unload recently initiated positions is unusual for the firm. So what gives? Why is Berkshire Hathaway unloading these stocks? Honestly, I don't know. I think many stocks within Big Pharma are more buyable than sellable. Indeed, I highlighted Bristol-Myers Squibb in June as a high quality dividend growth stock that looked undervalued. And I highlighted Merck in a similar way back in March. I did the same with AbbVie late last year. Of those three stocks specifically, I personally see Merck as the most viable right now. However, I think Big Pharma in general is appealing for long-term dividend growth investors. You're getting low valuations, market beating yields, and solid growth prospects. These are great businesses all around with durable competitive advantages. In my view, they fit Berkshire Hathaway to a T, yet they're buying and selling with no discernible pattern. But if Buffett and his team are unloading, is it a good idea to be a contrarian here and go against the Oracle of 
of Omaha. Sometimes it pays off to do the opposite of Buffett. Check this out. I put together a video back in February on Buffett's recent sales then, which covered how Berkshire Hathaway was busy unloading a different group of stocks during the fourth quarter of 2020. The group of stocks they were selling back then, bank stocks. Berkshire Hathaway was unloading high quality bank stocks like JP Morgan Chase & Co, stock ticker JPM, and US Bank Corp, stock ticker USB. I said then that investors would be wise to consider buying what Buffett was selling. Both JPM and USB are up by over 20% year to date. They're up even more when you date things back to the fourth quarter of 2020. Now, we can be pretty sure that Buffett was squarely behind the bank sales, just based on the size, age, and type of holdings. I noted then that Buffett had gotten overzealous with the bank stocks, which is probably what led to the selling, and he pretty much confirmed my viewpoint in the 2021 Berkshire Hathaway shareholders meeting. Well, I'm saying again that investors would be wise to consider buying what Buffett is selling. That's right, Berkshire Hathaway is selling Big Pharma, but I think long-term dividend growth investors would be wise to consider buying, not selling some of these stocks. Merck looks especially appealing to me within this grouping, and my video on Merck discusses why that is. I don't have any clue as to which way these stocks are going to go over the next few weeks or months, nobody does, but I have a great deal of confidence that they'll do extremely well for their investors over the next decade or so, all while continuing to pay out safe, growing, market beating dividends along the way. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about these big pharma stocks. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the fire fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is, and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who have been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.